That as part of the plans for this um, demonstration, you were supposed to go to the Auditor General's office. We realize that that has changed. What has accounted for that? Well, um, as you might have observed, um, we, we actually had planned with the police. We have agreed on the route and everything. But um, when we got to the junction to the Auditor General's office, um, the men, I mean, the policemen were deployed to block the road. Now, but one thing, one decision that we made before we came onto the streets was that we don't want anything to distract the key message of our demonstration. You understand? We don't want anything to, to distract it. We don't want to have any confrontation with the police so that that will become the central focus of public discussion instead of the issue at heart, which is the exercise of the Auditor General's powers of surcharge and disallowance for that matter. So we decided that whatever they say, we will obey. But the, 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 the ultimate goal is that our message should get to the Auditor General. Once they are prepared, and we have message from his office, that they are prepared to meet us and take our petition. I think it is the most important thing to all Ghanaians, to all citizens, that we need to wake up. We need to rise up and speak truth to power. The Auditor General has been entrusted with the state power to do right in terms of I mean, helping to manage our public resources. So those who have stolen money, the Auditor General must recover it for us. I think that is the key message. If we had, we had dwelt on the blockages that the police put, the impediment they put in our way, that will become the central focus for public discussion and it will distract from the main issue. And that is how come you see that we are using the main road instead of going through uh, the ministries. They did not give us any reason whatsoever and that is what even makes it, it makes it more uh, uh, what they call it uh, pathetic. Because look, um, what we are fighting for is not uh, uh, what they call it our individual interest. We are fighting for the interests of the state of the nation, and it goes to benefit everyone. The police are also taxpayers. The media people are taxpayers. All of us here are taxpayers, and that is the more reason why we must fight this collectively. I, I must say, if anything at all, it act actually strengthens our resolve uh, uh, to pursue the issues, even even even. Higher. Why? Why? Because look, even though the state guarantees the freedom of um, uh, uh, what they call it, association uh, for to demonstrate and all that, you will find impediment being put in a way in exercising that freedom. So these are people who are infringing on that right for us to exercise. I mean, the, our legitimate right as guaranteed by the constitution. But we are, we will subsequent to this, we will also take that issue up to ensure that tomorrow we don't want any citizen who wants to access a public park. It's supposed to be open to all. We have been to other countries. Public parks are open places. You understand? For public use. In fact, we were not demonstrating there. We were just converging there. And everyone can go there any day. As I said, on any ordinary, ordinary day, I can walk in there and go and buy food or just sit there and enjoy fresh air. So what is, so what is the big deal? If citizens want to converge there and start demonstrating.